Marius, right around you, you see that Edric has fallen. Tagazi's sword blow off slightly to your right in the woods. You saw the Baron just get pummeled with arrows and go down. You don't see Kip. You don't see Naldo. But something in you senses they are not upright. Nowhere to be seen are Balder and Kroof. The last you saw of them, if you saw them, they were bounding down the road southbound for Dijon. Gazi turns to you. Is this the way you want to die, Matthias? Even if you manage to somehow knock what you would call unconscious, this vessel, my vessel, my undead putrid vessel filled with moths and, and all kinds of other things that I have consumed. Even if you manage, what makes you think that I will do anything other than turn into a blood mist and disappear? I will make you a deal. Get me the medallion. You may go south and get it from your compatriots. And I recognize that you are a worthy adversary. I know that I will eventually fight you again on the battlefield, whether it is here or it is in hell. But you give me back that medallion, and I will spare you and your compatriots' lives. I will even do one better, because I know you came this close to killing me but choose not to. I will tell you where at least one other gem of power is. That is my offer, or you will die here today. It is your action. You. <laughs> so my choices are to give you something that I do not know exactly what it does. And face my, oh, my own conscience. Or to die. That is what you are saying? Yes. If ever there was a time when I needed a sign. sky above, even if I should fall. See to it that my, what are the companion, that my brothers in arms rise. <clears throat> and forgive me for being such a fool. <laughs> and Matthias, uh, charges forward. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 